I recently purchased this 1963 Studebaker Lark Daytona convertible from a guy near St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, it's been parked for a few years, so I have some work to do to it to make it drivable again. Uh, first off, the front brakes are locked up. And I found that the rear shoe lining came off and wedged itself on top of the other shoe. And I'm thinking possibly the brake cylinder maybe leaked some brake fluid onto the drum, which maybe made the brake lining stick to the brake drum, which then forced it forward when they tried to drive forward. Anyway, so I need brake shoes and rebuild kit for the brake cylinders. But luckily, Looking through the trunk, the trunk has lots of stuff in it. Found a new set of brake shoes for the front. And further digging, uncovered rebuild, uh, rebuild kits for the brake cylinders for the front and for the rear. So looked out there. And I don't know what's all in here. New thermostat. Gauges, I think they're used gauges, I guess. Door striker. Looks like it has a new carburetor kit. Oops. Apparently two carburetor kit rebuild kits. Brake hoses. Genuine Studebaker ice scraper. Possibly the icer solution. I've never seen that before. It's a lark symbol for swearing on your cuffling or what that would be for. And commemorative coin for the history century and a half of Studebaker transportation. 150. Hmm. Kinds of neat souvenirs. A new aftermarket AM FM radio with speakers. Not just one speaker, I guess. And some new uh, seat belts with hardware. Like a genuine Studebaker uh, factory worker apron with pocket pockets. Along with uh, matching gloves. 
new old stock, it says on the bag. Never been worn, apparently. Ignition switch bezels. That's a convertible top, actuator lever, some used rocker switches, new wiper switch. There's a brand new rocker switch or lights or whatever. Wheel pressure switch, I think. Hmm, yet another lever. Insulator pad for around the steering cone. Yes, yeah, steering post uh, insulation gasket. Appears to be a huge gauge cluster, but I don't recall what year this would be for. It's, I can't believe it's for this. Ignition coil. More ignition coils. They may be used, however, I don't know. Used bumper guards. Sender gasket, brand new. There's to be multiples of them. It's unusual. It says automatic electric clock in the original Studebaker packaging. Let's see what it is. Holy cow, a brand new clock. Pretty. Hmm. More used gauges and rocket switches. Here's proof that it was shown at the St. Louis International Meet in 2015. Information for recruiting new members to the club. New old stock headlamp rims for a dual or quad headlamp, 61 works. This is a 63, so they are not meant for this car. The 
61 as these corrugated ribs were a 62 and 3 are smooth otherwise I believe they're identical This is a new um, vanity glove box cover. It's an aftermarket type. It's hard plastic, where the originals would be a, a vinyl. I think that they were padded. That came with adhesive, uh, fastening adhesive. Plus, I got the whole dash cover lying up on top of the roof right now. Here's a used gauge panel for a 63 mark. Brand new fuel sending unit for installing in the gas tank. I don't know if the gas gauge works in this or not, I never even paid attention. Some nice goodies. Some nice artwork. Old advertisement. 